Today we're going to be covering why you need to avoid using globals in your code at all costs. And chances are that you do use globals when you're creating a quick script. And hopefully this video will change your view on doing that. So to demonstrate this, first we're going to go ahead and import from time. We're going to import the time module just so we can grab the time. And we're going to create this entire script using global variables, which means all of this is going to be accessible everywhere. And if we start here, we can say start time is going to equal time. And in case you don't know what a global variable is, a global variable is a variable that's accessible to all the functions throughout this whole script. So right now by creating this here, we are making it accessible to everything around this script. So if we create a function called main for some reason, and we want to access it, we can access that without any issues. And that comes at a major cost because Python has a way of looking these variables up and that's extremely costly compared to using local variables. But this whole project is going to demonstrate that. So we're just gonna call this global test and we're going to say i is going to equal zero, which is also a global variable. And while i is less than, let's say 50 million, we're going to go ahead and increment i by one and by the time we've looped through that 50 million times, we're just going to print done. So we know what we're doing. And we also want to go ahead and get the end time, which is just going to be the current time. And we're going to print the time it took to execute that. So first we're going to round the number of end time minus start time. So we don't have so many decimal places to three figures. And we'll also add seconds so it's easier to read and we'll put a print statement right below that. Now, if we go ahead and right click and run main, you'll see that all of this will happen in 0.2 seconds. Now, again, that might not seem that slow because it's a very quick program, but let's go ahead and demonstrate what happens if we put this inside a function. So as earlier, we're going to create a function called main and we'll indent that. And what we're going to do actually is copy everything that we took from earlier. So start time, uh, end time, and this over here and we're going to paste it inside here. And just to make sure that we're not reusing any variables, we're going to add two to each one of these variables so they are completely new. And of course it would be smarter to refractor that because now we have to do this manually. But in this example, we've replaced everything with two. So this is the second example. Now if we go ahead and run if name is equal to main, we can insert main and we need to change this to local test. And just to explain this real quick before we run the program, just by inserting a variable inside a function, it becomes a local variable, which makes it a lot faster for Python to look up that variable and to use it as necessary. So just by adding all this code into a function and running the script, you should notice a dramatic increase in speed. So as you can see, the local test took half the time of the global test. And running this again, we got different results. The global test took even longer this time, while the local test was more or less steady. So this is a big noob mistake to create everything without having a function encapsulating it. It might seem counterintuitive because it actually convolutes your code to create a function for no reason, but at the end of the day, it actually saves you a lot of time and optimizes the speed of your code. But anyways, guys, I hope you found that interesting. Hopefully you stop using global variables because they do slow down your program a lot and should be avoided at all costs if you have the choice. But with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.